Okay. So a little update um, here at school, at my college. Um, I have the entire controller here. I'm working on it. There's a professor who's helping me here. Um, let's see. We have discovered that the power supply is clean. There's nothing wrong there. The input-output longboard longboard is not functioning properly on its own, and it should be it should be able to run without the serial communication hooked up, and it should just run with CPU and say no com and have everything off. It's not. Um, someone from Code Dynamics in Georgia got in touch with me, and it turns out Code Dynamics specializes in these units, and they're helping me out. They've already been, they've already given me advice, and they actually sent some parts. I have here to try <clears throat> a used but known good input output longboard. So, tested good last year. Oop. So, I'm going to give that a try. Also discovered that in sending them a terminal session with the unit, the firmware is indeed version 4, as stated here in this tag, which is actually outdated because the newest version is 5.5. So, <clears throat> they recommended that I either pull all the proms off and they'll send updated ones, good updated ones, because these uh, look to be corrupt. They're not recognizing all the available program space and the software is giving me syntax errors. It just replies syntax error for valid commands. So it looks like the firmware is corrupt because it's not recognizing all the program space and it's saying syntax errors for valid commands. So we're going to try and erase these and reflash them with 5.5. Five. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we'll simply send these in and they'll send good ones, which is sweet. Um, I have no trouble, no trouble talking to the unit. I actually uh, now can get into it. For some reason, it just did not like real term, which I was using at home, it likes hyperterminal. But this board is still doing <coughs> very strange things, clicking the relays rapidly and not working as it should, so I like to leave all the relays off. Uh, we have been taking a look at the power supply. Yes, it has old electrolytic capacitors, but they're all very high quality ones, and we've hooked scope up to it and analyzed everything. All the outputs are clean. The only thing we noticed is on this pin. Right here. There's a very nasty AC slash DC signal. I don't, we don't really know what it is. It's just a really nasty signal. It actually does not come from the power supply. It comes from the intelligence board. It comes from this pin right here. And this pin disappears into a middle trace because this is a multi-layered board. Well, here it hooks up to this optocoupler and it's hooked up to the collector and the emitter is hooked up to ground. And these two traces are what feed the LED inside the optocoupler. And then they just run off one of the leads. Ends up coming through, I believe, this resistor going to this transistor, which this transistor then comes off of this IC, 
which this I see is a comparator which uses this uh, voltage reference for its comparison. Yeah, we started to trace it. But I believe it has to do with the batteries. Because this unit, when it loses power, it realizes it loses power, shuts down the input-output unit, but keeps the intelligence unit up and running. So, <clears throat> either it's supposed to ground that signal when the batteries are good, or uh, ground the batteries when uh, batteries aren't good. I don't know which. So, that is something I'm going to try soon, is see what happens when I hook battery or just some, some 12 volt source up to the battery connection. So let's see if I open up. Hyper terminal. Okay, it's listening. It's hooked up. As you can see, the intelligence unit is up and running. So now if I input the device password, oops, it responded with P for personal password, and it now accepts its proper personal password. This should be 2048 uh, minus 9, so that is obviously not correct. So it'll accept. So if I do set time enter, it'll show me the format enter. Okay, bad number. So <clears throat> this should be a valid command. So should this. If I do this, no, wait. Let's see, it accepts that. I did find some interesting commands in the user manual that I might have to try before I can edit things. This is at 300 baud, that's why it's so slow. And go over here. So type in help again. You can see it sending data away like crazy. Right there. So that's what's going on with it right now. Did find out that it's the intelligence board is using two Motorola 6800 CPUs and the input output unit is using a Hitachi 6802 processor which just cross references with the Motorola 6802. Unfortunately we don't have equipment to put a logic analyzer on a 6802 but we do have logic analyzers for 6800s. So.